Hey game developers, Bilal here and welcome to another Unity tutorial and in this one we're going to be creating an item database or basically creating a list of items that can be used through Unity's interface using scriptable objects and the reason for that is again like I said so that we can drag and drop them inside of the inspector uh, and also because it's simpler to make new items we can just use the menu to create a new say ore or weapon or whatever uh, so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, so the first thing to do is obviously create a C-sharp script uh, that's going to be our scriptable object. So I'm going to call this just item, and I'll go ahead and open this up. And just like you would with um, a mono behavior, uh, instead of mono behavior, you want to inherit from scriptable object. Um, if you don't know what inheritance is, uh, that's what this is indicating. Basically, it means it will take stuff from this super class here and put it in this class um, without us having to retype it. Um, so with a scriptable object, that allows us to use this to create new items. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is put this notation down of making it appear in the editor so that we can make a new item. So I'll write uh, first these brackets and then create asset menu. And we want a couple of attributes here changed. So the first one is file name, right? So file name is the default thing. So it'll be called item by default, and we'll have to rewrite it. And then the second thing is menu name, right? So um, what I do is I'll have game name, uh, and I'll have like slash inventory slash item, right? Uh, and so what that does is make it just like if I right click here, Oh, sorry. Uh, you can see a context menu. See snippet over here. Uh, it'll be an inventory and then item rather than snippet and then surround with. Okay, so uh, you can see that in just a second if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's not too important just yet. So I'll go ahead and delete these because we're not going to be using them for uh, just items. And what I'm going to do is just create new uh, attributes here. So I'll make public uh, new string name here. Uh, and the reason I'm using the new keyword is because it overwrites the um, sorry, it overwrites the game object name, so something to keep in mind. And I'll just go ahead and make a couple of other things like weight uh, and say base value. And that's all we're going to do right now for this. Um, in the future, uh, you might want other things like sprites, and you might want to be able to equip it. Um, but for now, we'll just do this. Okay, so I'll go ahead and drag this over to my other monitor. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like to make our item now. So remember how we said game name slash inventory slash item. So when we hit create, we should see game name up here, then inventory, then item. Okay, now I have a new item, um, and let's say this is Vanadium. Okay, uh, and I'll write the name in here as well. And let's say the weight is like 10, uh, and the base value is like 1,000, right? So now we have this Vanadium item. This is pretty much everything you need to do for creating a scriptable object, and now we can just make as many items as we want. Uh, but what if we want to actually reference them inside of the scene, right? So what I'll do next is create like an item manager or just an item list that allows us to drag and drop into some game object here, right? Uh, okay, so I'll make a C-sharp script item manager. I'll go ahead and open this. I'll drag it over here. And all this is going to do right now is just contain a list of items. All right, so um, now that that's done, we can just go ahead and drag this onto a new empty object here. Say item manager. Okay, and I'll add a component item manager. And now we can see our item list because that is a serializable type. And I'll drag in Vanadium. I'll go ahead and create a new item. Let's call this one a sword. Um, sword weight 20, base value 100. And now we have this as well. So um, obviously there's no visuals or anything, uh, but that's all you have to do to actually get the data, and that's the purpose of these scriptable objects in this context. So if you wanted to do something else with them, that's what's really nice, is that they're actual C-sharp uh, classes, so we could just inherit from any interface, um, 
or sorry, we could implement any interface, or we could just inherit from something else, or we could just make scripts for, say, equipping the item or whatever else. Uh, so that's actually going to be everything for this tutorial. If it helped you out, hit like, hit subscribe to see more tutorials like this, and I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day.